Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Hitting the like will get my video out to new active viewers. Subscribing is free. Hit that notification, put it on all if you would like to get notified for my videos. And share, because sharing is caring. <laughs> Greetings, everybody, from the pineapple to the big apple, from Maine to Spain. Put me on your television. Super chats, super thanks, uh, super stickers, all kinds of super stuff. Is that super everything? Super chats, super stickers, super. Whatever. We also got memberships, $1.99 for that prospect level. We got the merchandise. You can see that on the main page of this channel. And tell your mom about me. So today we're going to go into some uh, new and different territory. And some of that new and different territory has to do with some of the information that I've been receiving from the sources that I have been receiving them from. I don't like feeling like I'm being fucked around with. And, as I have said repeatedly on this show, I trust no one who is ever involved in Scientology. Sorry. This community that we have discussed that has got its fingers in so many pies I think you guys uh, might be surprised today at some of what I'm going to bring to you. But what I'm going to do for some of the new people is we need to just set up a little bit of a timeline of how we got here and why I am so fucking pissed today. And we're going to do it right now. Alza, thank you for joining me once again from the pineapple to the big apple from Maine to Spain. This is the Zero Dark Tony channel. I am Tony D, your host. And I've taken a hit lately in my life. Mentally. Emotionally, physically. However, I am resilient. And even though I'm a little bit sensitive, I am not someone who ever throws a first punch. I grew up in, from when I was three years old, my uncle's karate school. I have never, ever, ever in my life, unless it was in a sanctioned bout of some kind in a ring with referees or some kind of training for martial arts, 
or unless somebody was reaching for something, I have never thrown the pers- first punch. And whenever the three individuals reached for those things, I will tell you the very next thought that they had was, why am I waking up in an ambulance? Okay. One of them was at a comedy show. Actually, it's Sam Tripoli's uh, comedy show in LA. It was at the Knitting Factory. And my band had just played upstairs. So afterward, they would have this like night lounge. There would be comedy going on. I went downstairs. And this was in the days of Owen Benjamin and Joe Rogan. And these were the guys that came out to the comedy clubs. So I think Owen was there that night too. I think Owen Benjamin was there. Yeah, I think Owen Benjamin was there that night. So anyway, we're at the dating factory. And I'm at the bar with my, you know, got a couple babes in the back there by the bar, watching my friend's show, having a hoot. That show was set up by my friend Ramsey Moore. If anybody has been around the comedy scene in LA for a long time, they would remember my friend Ramsey Moore. Um, may he rest in peace. Dear, dear friend of mine. And he was a, 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 a guy who was very obese and he lost his life because of his health. And I miss him. He was one of my friends. Anyway, all my friends are dead, so. Anyway, I'm sitting there in the back. Well, standing, I was standing at the bar. There's a guy over here, he's like a, you know, like these skinny, cracked out, tweaker rocker dudes, right? And he's uh, standing over there with his with this chick who looks like someone that he picked up off the street. And they're talking kind of loud. And I just sort of, after a little while, I said, hey, you know, can you do I'm a, I'm actually a very nice person, okay? I am always going to start off nice. Thank you. I appreciate it. That kind of just slipped out. <laughs> Maybe I need to change this uh, cup I'm drinking from. Anyway, um, I'm in the back. He starts to talk. But and I said, you know, hey, listen, boss, do me a favor. Could you could you keep it down a little bit? I'm trying to watch my friend show. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, yeah, sure, sure, sure. He goes back to it again. Starts doing it again. And... Um, He starts making noise again. Fuck. Yeah. Starts making noise again. And I tell him to be quiet again, right? Just shut the fuck up. So then he seems to get a little agitated. He starts to go back and forth with his um, date or whatever. And um, I said, look, man, I'm trying to watch my friend perform. He's on the stage. Why are you talking during a show? Then he says, somebody should cut this motherfucker. Who is girl. Can you imagine saying that shit to me? So anyway. I kind of step up off the bar and I go, what (laughs) did you just fucking say to me? And he, and he steps back and he starts to walk out towards me. And I kind of turn, right? Cause there's just some people over here and I kind of just sort of turn because I didn't want to not face my date at the same time because I didn't know what he was going to do. So he kind of like comes around the other side and he was a real skinny guy, right? Real bean pole, real, real like six three something, you know, like tall but super skinny, 
very wafy, you would say. I mean, back in those times, you would say wafy. <laughs> so he goes over and he cuffs my chest, like with both hands. Like tries to push me with both hands on, his, on the chest. And uh, he falls on the ground. He slips and he falls. So he slips, he falls on the ground. And he starts to get back up. And I said to him, I would stay down if I were you. He decided to get back up. This is one of the few instances, I'm telling you one of the few instances where I threw the first punch. That's how this story is relevant, by the way. Because I'm telling you, I've never thrown a first punch unless somebody's reaching for something. This is one of those situations. So he gets up and with his right hand, he starts to reach behind his... Um, back towards his belt and first of all uh -uh. so i just fucking clang i fucking laid a left into his jaw that pretty much broke everything on that side of his head he was out before he hit the ground and uh basically <laughs> the, the, there were really like there wasn't like a lot of cell phones back then but they were around but there weren't a lot of them Anyway, the police were called. Uh, I mean, not a lot of models. They were like those T-Mobile flip fucking weird, you know what I'm saying. And the Motorola, like it was then. It was like only a few models. Anyhow. And a few models around me, I'll tell you that. I always had a few models around. Thanks. <laughs> you see what I did there? Thank you. So, they called the police. The doorman drag him outside because he's unconscious. I'm sitting there. I go back to enjoy my drink. And the, the girls are just sitting there like, the fuck just happened? And first of all, I knew right then I was getting my dick sucked. <laughs> I was getting, seriously, my brain. I was getting fucked. That's where it just closed. It just, I could see on the look on their faces. Not a dry puss in the house. Anyhow. So, I'm just enjoying the show. Then I see some police walk in. Right? And the police walk in. I walk towards them because I'm like, you're here for me. You know, I didn't want the whole show to get screwed up. I didn't do anything wrong. So, what am I worried about? I don't have any crack or guns on me. You know what I mean? I'm like, you know. I'm a law-abiding citizen. So I go out and um, and I mean that like Gerard Butler, law-abiding citizen, that kind of law-abiding citizen. Um, so I go talk to the cops. There's an ambulance that is taking this motherfucker away. All right. So the guy is already in the ambulance. He's on his way to the fucking hospital. Right. What had happened was <laughs> the cops, they're like, okay, so we found a knife on him. We got a unit with him. He's going to get arrested at the hospital. He had a knife on him. Do you want to press any charges or anything like that? And one of the other cops go, yeah, he kind of, or he said something like, or do you think he's had enough? I was like, well, you know, I don't want to press any charges. I just want to go enjoy my evening. I mean, he's leaving in a fucking ambulance. Why is he leaving in an ambulance, officer? Well, you were defending yourself, and a lot of the people who saw the situation saw him reach, and there was a knife there, so you were defending yourself. You're not in any kind of trouble. We hope you enjoy your evening, but um, you, it looks like you probably broke his jaw and his orbital bone, and uh, there are probably a few teeth on the floor back there. You know, and uh, yeah, so he was armed and and as I'm walking back in, the cop said, excuse me, um, what, what did you what exactly did you hit him with? I was like, what? They're like, what did you hit him with? Was there a, a bottle or a, 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 a pipe or what did you hit him with? I said, I hit him with my hand. They said, well, you hit him with your head, you know, so yeah, I 
fuck, man. I think that's probably the hardest punch I've ever thrown into another human being's face. But I broke his orbital, but he tried to sue me. I broke his orbital bone, his fucking jaw, his the whole fucking, he just had to have his whole fucking head rebuilt. So, I, and as, then the cops go away because they're like, you know, they thought I like hit him with a fucking brick or a chair leg or something like that, right? So then I'm walking back in and then one of the big ass bodyguards, one of the guys who dragged him out there, I'm not gonna say his name, but he's still around LA and this guy is like, he's like six fucking eight, okay? And he's like 350 pounds, but all yoked like this, right? So I'm walking back in and he goes, uh, yo dog. <laughs> And I'm like, what's up? He goes, yo, dog, was that a left? <laughs> and I was like, why, why yes, uh, yes, it was. And he goes, he goes, you was a proper motherfucker, boy. Like that. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that because I'd never heard the word proper come out of one of my one of my one of my brothers like that. <laughs> so I take it as the highest compliment ever. But yeah, that was a that was an evening, right? That was a night. So like I said, I never threw a first punch. But that is a very good story, I think, of a time that I did. So <sighs> Let me see here. Where are we? So again, oh yeah, let's uh, let's get in the chat here and say hi to some people. Daughter of Sam in the house. Hello, Betsy Sue, Dawn, Emma, Mousy. Welcome, man. Yeah. I always think of the every time I see your name, I think of the Barry Manilow song, Gary. Cool people in the house. The chat is open. If anybody has any comments or anything like that, I mean, anybody who was on my live stream last night sees how I handle it. Okay, so like, I'm not somebody who dodges or avoids anything. I just know that if you're going to ask a certain kind of question, I probably will answer the question and respond to it. But if you're like a negative, malicious person, I know what that looks like. So do my mods. So. If you have something that you want to say, be respectful. Okay, Gen Xers don't follow the same rules as all you little punk ass internet programmed dummies that think someone's a bitch to block someone. No, it's not. I don't want to be aggravated. That's what it's there for. It's for smart people. It's not for Spurgs who want to engage in a parasocial manner and try to control the show. I do a show for an audience. And I'm sure a lot of people in this community are wondering. <sighs> are wondering. How would I get the kinds of information that I get about certain kinds of people. Now, keep in mind, if I've had an intimate relationship with someone, I will not share their private messages. This is not somebody that I've had an intimate relationship with. And this is an individual who has been introduced to the community in a way that is, well, I mean, they all are brought into the community like this. I mean, it doesn't matter how, how many of them. To me, when I see these charity communities that at this point it was in this article the other day that that was shown to me about the defanging like whatever i showed you guys that it was in the chat from yesterday you guys have that article on the defanging of whatever 
He talks about that. You know, I'm not the only person to see through the cracks of this organization and their malicious, deceptive, lying ass fucking behavior with each other. And I'm not a I'm not a journalist. I mean, I have the same rights. A journalist is just someone who says, you know, I don't anybody can this is this is technically journalism but you know th there's no like card you know i'm not aware of any union of journalism of writers yeah but not of journalism so i don't have any fucking rules i don't work for a goddamn newspaper i don't work for a fucking okay like i'm a i'm a, a guy with a microphone and a youtube show that with the best intentions went on to Aaron Smith Levin's program to try and find some answers for myself, maybe give some other, I went on with the best of intentions and these motherfucking pieces of shit fucked me. Okay. They fucked me for no reason other than they couldn't apologize. You know, the sociopathy involved in that the fucking and when i tell you who this individual is you're going to be kind of surprised and you're going to sit there and say to yourself what the fuck It will literally hit you like a ton of bricks. You, you seriously not going to believe it. Exactly, daughter of Sam. Their egos have gotten in the way so much. They all think they're like these big creators now. They're not. Aaron is a mid, all right? Aaron Smith-Levin is a mid. He's a low mid. Even at 200K, you know, it's not like when you get to a million... That's when you really get some attention from YouTube and you get, you know, so until that million struggle nowadays, there are a lot of people with 100, 200 K, you know, What's this one? Oh yeah. Emotional damage. So moving forward. Yes, daughter of Sam is everywhere. She is she's covering all the bases, which everybody, if you wouldn't mind, if you wouldn't mind double streaming me from here and from kick, if you have the ability, that would be fantastic. Mute me on one, see me on the other, but you're streaming on both. I appreciate it. And some and and you know, some comments on that side. Thank you. See, I'm starting from nothing. You know. <laughs> that is true, mind's eye. So, so yeah, there, there was no, uh, I did not sleep with the mole. Good God. Oh my God. <laughs> really don't feel good after hearing that. Oh boy. Holy smoke. Hold on a second.
Oh yeah, that was interesting. That live with Doug. You know. And I personally like you know. I gotta be honest with you. I, I you know I, I did a nice little tribute to him and everything like that, but. That's where it stops for me, kids. You know what I mean? That's where the ride stops for me. I don't care beyond that. I really don't. You know? I, I just don't. May he rest in peace. And I'm sure he's up there fucking on the beach or whatever, throwing his hair around, dude. I'm sure he's throwing his hair around, some, some tasty waves. He reminds, he reminds me of Spicoli, Doug. But like a smart Spicoli, not a dumb Spicoli. He wasn't a dumb guy. But uh, no, this is really sleep. This isn't anything. God damn, what the fuck is that? Oof. That was a lot. <laughs> uh, anyway. So, yeah. I don't, uh, I don't get involved with that kind of stuff. That's not my thing. I, I just, I kind of like to do what I like to do. I don't claim, you know, look, am I good at research? Am I good at observing things? I'm good at it, you know, better than the average bear. But I don't claim to be any, you know, I do this on YouTube. I've never said that I was anything unique or special. You know, I'm just a guy on YouTube. I've never done anything to intentionally harm anybody, but I do believe that some people get what they deserve. And if some people try to put you in harm's way or fuck with you, then, you know, like I said, I am what you call a counter puncher. I've never posted anyone's private information that I've been intimate with. And I've posted a couple messages here and there. But it was from like when Vanessa tried to like text me. Oh, can we talk? You know, Vanessa is an SPTV person but Vanessa also, from the reports that I have received, Vanessa is also receiving money from the Aftermath Foundation. So that the Aftermath Foundation, from what I understand, is giving Vanessa money. My sources say. Isn't that weird that an SPTV person would be, I don't know, that's confusing to me. And from what I understand, you know, uh, I don't speak, I don't speak, um, I don't speak Klingon, Gary, is Karen my source. Yes, I have been uh, having a secret uh, dalliance with Karen de la Cour. She a throat goat, though. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. It's just, it's really just too funny. She is scary. Ooh. Oh, that is hilarious. That's a yes. She, she does uh, speak that. There's several dialects in that. There are several levels of, uh, you know, we saw the hot versus, what was it? Hot versus crazy scale. We watched last night. That was a lot of fun. You know, Karen is on that scale. Every woman is. Hmm. So as we uh, kind of go through... The information, again, what I'm being told and who I'm being told this by is very shocking. 
It was shocking to me because they reached out to me. And I don't like being fucked with. I don't like feeling like uh, I'm being used. And if people want to take offense to my texts or whatever that were released, well, I would like to see how you would react when people start to put out your public stuff if you don't get a little pissed off and want to give someone a piece of your mind. And I would and will do it again. Okay? I don't want to. I don't want to be that guy. But sometimes when you get pushed, but you do it privately, and you think, oh, no, I could, this is someone who I could trust. Regardless, no matter what the situation, this is somebody that I could trust, that I don't need to be concerned about them trying to maliciously Fargo everything that I've done over the past five years and all the good work and all the good shit that I've done because of a misunderstanding or something that's not going their way. And then the goblins that take someone's weak moments and try to exploit them for themselves and their own amusement. Well, there's a karma to that, baby. So, I don't know. I don't play that shit. But also, at the same time, when someone damages you, they should apologize. And I have received apologies privately and uh you know like i said there are some certain things to this situation that need to be addressed privately before any other things are said or done and they're very simple things nothing to humiliate or embarrass anyone i just wouldn't do that but when someone tries to do it to me like when Nora wanted to go on her channel and thought she was all fucking slick and she decided she decided to do it within the vicinity of her work and decided she wanted to be abusive to me on her channel and mock my drug problems and tell me that I'm a whiner about Hollywood and what a baby I am, which I don't think I am. I'm glad that I'm not in that shit. I've made that perfectly clear. So when this fucking chunky fucking monkey runs around a fucking parking lot yelling at me or decides they want to weaponize their crowd against me, that's the first punch. You get it? So that when I clap back and she was picking up for Vanessa, okay? So she was sticking up for Vanessa, the one who's robbing people's houses. Okay. <laughs> you know, that's why I went to that purification. They said they could help me get off drugs, but I was on drugs. I never finished a course over there. So I, I think that's the, that's what makes me not a Scientologist at all or never was. I'm a never was. There's never ins. I was a never, I'm a never was. I'm a never in. I mean, it's not like I'm a never there, <laughs> but I'm an, I'm a never no one, you know. So when I am the subject of, oh, and then I, then I question a GoFundMe and then the onslaught of doxing and trying to intimidate me to shut me up, which only fucking pisses me off. It only pisses me off. Because I don't like being abused and I don't like being threatened and I don't like someone trying to intimidate me, especially when I'm exercising free speech. And if, let me tell you something, I've said this before 
if you pussy ass bitches are trying to fight a billion dollar cult and you can't take me calling you uh the c word okay well then you don't deserve a w you don't deserve to win because you're too soft okay and the people who have the five six accounts that they come in here and try and do the kamikaze bomber mission on me and miss the ship and hit the water because it's not with the intention that you think that you're targeting i am a i am different i don't care i need one of those what's that iron infusion was it iron man iron man do that shit is that iron man shit iron infusion it sounds like iron man shit i am a tony again a legacy of tony's you guys don't even know the legacy of Tony. Some of them are not great. But most of them are. So then you go to the next phase, which was Vanessa putting together some fake restraining order that I threatened her, this or that. Oh boy, did, did I write a nasty email for them to fuck off? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So? So what? So what? You know, like, Vanessa, you got more problems than me right now, honey. You got a lot more problems than me. So, Nora, yes. I, I got in touch with the legal of their work, of her work. I got in touch with the legal department. And if there were consequences of that, then there were. If I was a liar and full of shit, then she would still be working, you know. I'm telling you something, okay? But I don't think she's over there anymore. Hair safe library place. I'll, I'll let myself out. But you know what I mean? I didn't throw the first punch, you fucking dummies. Oh, kick. It's called kick. Kicks. Yes. I wish it was. Now I wish it was called kicks. So for the people that have tried to abuse me for the past several months consistently and realized that, oh, wow, all of a sudden this thing splits open and you've got two teams now and all of a sudden a lot of the shit that I said are what people are repeating. They're starting to talk about it now. So I was so crazy and out of my mind and I lost my shit just because of a couple curse words. Like I said, if you're trying to fight something that big, and you can't take some curse words. Yes, Rio for life. Uh, be well. I, uh, if, if, if that uh, is some kind of, um, you know, needles or something like that, like, I hope everything's okay. Uh, infusion sounds like there needs to be some sort of injection. And I don't mean like being Italian by injection. I mean, Mark, you got a point there. Mark has a point. L. Ron Hubbard is the biggest con artist who ever lived. Very true. Look, here's the thing. I don't, you know, what are those, what are the words that you have to say? Xenu. Okay, what? They're like, I'm Osa. Get the fuck out of here. I'm getting money from a publicity firm. That's not obvious. That's obviously not true. Okay. I'm being paid by them. I'll bet you love those checks. You know how many thousands of those fucking messages I've gotten? Holy shit. It's like, are you fucking, how dumb are you? And now when people realize how untrue it is, that's your credibility. And even though they still might follow you because they're afraid of you. And that's why a lot of people follow this fucking community. It's from fear. They're afraid of what people are going to say about them, what they're going to do. There's people right now that have given me information that don't know if I'm going to drop their name or not. Because here's the point. I said, if you want to send it to me, send it to me. 
but I didn't say you're going to fucking use it in a uh, little fucking game that fucks with me. Yeah, they hate me for no reason. I mean, I just have observations. What do I do wrong to anybody? I clap back when they mock my fucking drug problems. You fucking fat piece of shit. Huh? Dumb as a bag of hammers, third grade education. Goes from a producer credit to a Starbucks. A ginger that survived Catholic school, I get East Coast shit talker nonsense. Yeah, that's it. And a lot of these people just don't understand the type of person that I am. They don't get it. They've never met anybody like me. I'm a one of one. I'm like those Birkin bags. I'm a one of one and I'm expensive. I'll let you boy. So as Vanessa leaves this first comment, you know, I, uh, and, and another individual, you know, clapped back at it and I stood up for a, a individual, which that was a swell idea. And, um, like, do you know how long it fucking takes? to get to this fucking point on this fucking platform even to this point do you know that if none of these people fucking gave me a problem or said that I, I'm not a racist I'm not homophobic I'm not I'm not anything phobic I'm not afraid of any of the people that's it's the wrong nomenclature the fear of it anyway we're gonna get into that another time but do you know how long it takes and how much work it took me to build up the fact that, you know, I'm not some, you know, grifting idiot who just sits there and try and raise his money. Well, that is a good point because, you know, in the long run, um, I'm better off, you know, because people show who they are and I never stolen anything from anybody in my life. Okay. In fact, I told this story before I stole five bucks from my mom's purse and my stepdad went to take me down to fucking jail. It's like seven or eight years old. My mom still has the note that I, the apology note that I wrote, and I told her to send it to me because I'm going to read it. <laughs> I'm going to read it on the air. I'm going to show you guys my apology note from when I was a little kid. And if I break down and cry all night, you're the young American, you know, if I do that, then you'll know why because that's it. Nora has the most vile and meanest subs of all the SP blogs. That's true. They're g fucking ghouls. She's a ghoul. She gets off on other people's suffering, right? And, 
you know, there are a lot of channels that get on a very negative track and they just go after people. I mean, they're making t they're making tens of thousands of dollars. If you think I make anywhere near that, you are sadly mistaken. And I will tell you, the the unauthorized, the malicious release and spreading of these texts had a lot of people who supported me unsubscribe and ironically enough go subscribe to the other individual's channel which is pretty funny but they unsubscribe for me it i mean look in the long run financially yes i took a hit but i i don't make that much by comparison you know there are some of these channels making 30 40 grand a month Shit, no way but they did try to destroy what I built up. And it was malicious and it was intentional. And it's not going to work. Because I've had this happen two times before. And I always bounce back. And I don't retaliate in a malicious way. Will I get angry? Yeah. Do I dox people's homes? No. I mean, they want everything from phones to iPod. I want a computer. I want a new computer. Okay. You know, chop, chop. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I want a new computer and I want, um, I want a pony. I want a pony. Can you guys buy me a pony? And these people who talk about, oh, you go, we help people. We do that. No, you don't. You don't help anybody. Okay? You help yourselves. All right? You help yourselves. This fucking piece of shit community, they help themselves. You know? Can you imagine if they just apologized? And I was on there. Thank you so much, Gary Shield, for the five euros. Oh, thank you. Five euros coming through. Super chats. Thank you so much, Gary. We appreciate it. We love the euros. We love euros and euro, euro, euros. We love the sandwich. No juice of free. You like this sauce, yeah? You like the juice? Betsy Sue wants a maid, so let's get cracking. Gary has opened the gates. Uh, this five euro is going to turn. Listen, this is going to be five million. That's what it's all about for them is the stats. And like I said, they had it in that article from the other day. You know? Who has a wish list with a bulletproof vest? Who has a wish list with a bulletproof vest? Who? <laughs> T-Rex with those little fucking T-Rex fucking alligator fucking arms. <laughs> but you want to? No. To see me right here, this, this, this comment. Look at this. Also, a bulletproof vest is on one of their wish lists. Who thinks they need one? I would love to know. Please, someone show me. B Peter Frampton me. Show me the way. I want you to show me the way like Peter Frampton. What is this mystery guest who wants a bulletproof vest? Oh, that rhymes. See, I'm just going to rap to you. It's like a mystery guest. Do you got the bulletproof vest? I haven't watched it in a long time. How is uh, that Aaron fella going with that? He injects that weight loss stuff. How's that going for him? Does he is he slimming down? <sighs> well, I would say this, Mousy. First of all, 
I'm pretty fucking sure it's illegal to wear a bulletproof vest in California. Unless you are licensed for it. You know? Somebody check on that. I think wearing a bulletproof vest in California is illegal. Is wearing a bulletproof vest in California illegal? The short answer is yes. In California, there is no statewide law, regulation, or statute prohibiting the wear of body armor. Okay. In California. Okay. So in California, it's okay. Oh, that's good. I th that's good to know. That's fantastic. Because I think it used to be different. Ah, here we go. What states are bulletproof vests illegal in? New York. Okay. I did live in New York. North Carolina, North Dakota, Idaho. What do you say? More rows. What? New York. Legal, 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 legal. Huh. Yeah, some places you have to like, like you know, it's it would be no worse than tear gas. I'm not saying it's like a felony, but you know, like to have a cert certain types of tear gas, you have to have like a card. Uh, in California, you know, like the CN, I believe you have to have, get like, it's easy to get. I mean, you can get all this shit online. They shouldn't be illegal anywhere. You're right. But they are in New York and that's, that's where they are illegal. That's the one state. And, you know, when you're talking about, um, you know, illegal, Ah, okay, there you go. I, I knew there was something to it. Not if you've been convicted of a felony, you can't kill. I, I knew there was some sort of caveat to that. Right. You're right, they shouldn't be illegal anywhere. People should have the right to bear arms. Oh, so Vanessa's GoFundMe is still up. Yeah, whatever. You know, people want to give to her at this point and whatever. I mean, to me, it's like, that's not shit that I try and stop or report or stuff like that, you know. If I think there's something untoward about it, I I think uh I think I said, you know, that I reported a couple of them and I don't know. I think I did for two of them. I think one I started to and I started to do something else, so I forgot about it. But, you know, these are all fucking scams. Yeah, respect the Second Amendment, man. The first and the second. So, you know, questioning these GoFundMes and all of a sudden it's like doxing and then these things about threatening from people from my past. Like, first of all, stop it. Stop it. And second of all, stop it. And third of all, I can't think of anyone from my past that's alive. Let's start there. Because all the people that know about me, okay, they're gone, motherfucker. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, but really they are. <laughs> but I don't really have any secrets. It's just like s stupid shit. There's nothing anybody did illegal or anything like that. Mentos moments. 
You know what I'm saying? Like just Mentos fresh and full of life moments. You know, little goofy shit. For example, I damaged a rental car one time, but we went into a bar and we're whining about it. And guess who was in the bar? And his truck was outside. The guy who fixes the dents for dealerships. Okay. You know, mantles fresh and full of life. I returned the fucking car and didn't get charged the arm and a leg for the dent. I would have been charged like $2,000 by the fucking rental company. This guy fixed it for like 200 bucks. I think maybe even less. Mantles fresh and full of life. So, I mean, that's not really illegal, but you know, you know, that's like, I mean, it's looked the exact same. He's the guy who was going to fix it anyway. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, yeah, I knew their dents. Is it Georgia? <laughs> what are you going to do? The Air Force Bay. Anyway. And I got a speeding ticket on the Air Force fucking base. Can you believe that shit? fucking guys pull me over okay Jesus Christ that's Tony D <laughs> they saw me coming to the cameras they had to stop me okay <laughs> speeding I know now have I done some stupid shit yeah but I have paid my debt to society um I'm not a career criminal. I've just done some stupid shit because of being on drugs. And when someone like Nora takes that story and wants to make fun of it, well, you know what? I'm not fat and ugly, okay? So how about that, okay? I'm not fat and ugly and talentless with a third grade education that had to die from meat and drank bleach. Like, fuck all that. You know what I mean? Like, are you kidding me? You're going to judge me? I, I've had a life. You're just getting started, honey. Fucking pigs. No. I will not be saying which base. But there are a couple in that area. Ding, ding, ding. But I can say I think I can say it. No, I probably shouldn't. <clears throat> well, who cares what Nora says? She's always got something to say. No, no apology for anything she did. You know, she got what she deserved. You know, you don't, you don't weaponize people, you know, because what she started was an avalanche of freaking goblins that was Another, you know, it's just, they knew exactly what they were doing. Don't pretend like you're, they're acting like they don't know what it was. Like, please. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't start any of that shit. She's the one who fucking said something first she made like a video like an entire video which was designed to not only mock me but paint me in a bad light disrespect me and have people dislike me even further to continue the narrative that aaron smith levin decided he was going to paint about me for no reason just because he's a fucking pussy like all these people are just mean fucking like children you know that like pull the wings off of flies and and want to see people suffer when they disagree with them. It's so fucking pathetic. I mean, it's, you know, who gives a shit about any of them? Nobody. 
they're so sensitive and 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 like you know you can't even curse around them now will i block people yeah but i'll address what they say Yeah, and these are all people with issues that shouldn't be throwing stones. Aaron, all every single one of them. Like, how fucking dare these motherfuckers judge me? You know, I don't do that to them. All I do is make observations on what I see. That's it. I always make sure I say allegedly, reportedly, according to this. I don't know which, if it's true or not, you know? And then other people from other communities who don't even understand how vicious these people are want to just jump in on the fucking uh, dog pile on me. For what reason? What? Because I called people a couple of fucking names? I barely remember a lot of the shit that I said. But they, li they live and swear by it. It's like very unreasonable. And then she wants to say on the end of one of her videos, oh, make sure you pay back the blah, blah, blah. You know, shut the fuck up. Go have another fucking donut, you fucking pig. Fucking sack of fucking shit. fucking people. All right, so I'm going to show you a video. <coughs> because there was a period of time when... <coughs> these people decided that they were going to come together. And it was Nora, Karen, all these people were on this court document to file a restraining order against me. Which was vexatious and perjurious from reports paperwork and other they tried to come to my old address okay they tried to go to my old address they tried to come to that door and what they found there to try and serve me the restraining order now this was totally unnecessary a group of them Allegedly, Tommy was armed when he was, this is a convicted felon who's still on parole, from what I understand, because he tried to get the parole kicked off and they didn't. Not only was it a restraining order, but there was a $25,000 attachment to it to try and say, oh, we're going to sue him for damages. For what? For $25,000, they wanted to sue me. The judge obviously threw it out because they couldn't serve me, right? But it would have been thrown out anyway. I wouldn't even have even needed a lawyer for that one, to be honest. I could have done that one myself. So in order to get that thing, what they tried to do was literally stalk me, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you that video. This is video of Vanessa LaRose stalking my old neighborhood in her car. 
Do you understand what I'm showing you? Do you understand what I'm showing you? I'm showing you a psychopath stalking me, hunting me, saying they're afraid of me, trying to get a restraining order, yet hunting me. The wrong place. Now, I'm going to cut the music. Put a one in the chat if you've seen this. Put a two in the chat if you have not. I'll wait. Gotta get them dollars. Gotta get them dollars. Gotta get them dollars. Gotta get them dollars. Low money is better than no money. Cause even with low money, you can still grow money. Yes, sir. Low money is better than no money. Cause even with low money, you can still grow money. Yes, sir. Gotta get them dollars. Gotta get them dollars. You got to eat, get money. No shoes for your feet, get money. Well, you're just about to see it. For the people who haven't seen it, you're just about to see how sick and twisted and demented and psychotic these motherfuckers are. If I did this, they would try and get me thrown into fucking prison. Okay? This is fucking bullshit. It's the crazy. This is somebody hunting me. All right? Let's watch. At the corner, covered guarantee building, and then show right here where they have a, a Anthony address is right here. She said my full name on the video and my and that my address is right here. So we're on the same exact block. She was at my old address, okay, saying he lives right here. Right here. Where all those like people have literally died by suicide our friend she's saying there she is hi vanessa hi vanessa you fucking piece of fucking psychotic shit i wouldn't want to get anywhere near her she also around the time of this restraining order she fucking tries to facetime me she tries to text me and she's gonna try and take me to court for a restraining order you dumb fucking bitch you can't restrain someone's speech Brendan Schaub just lost a big fucking case because it's not defamation. If Brendan Schaub lost, honey, you're going to fucking lose. This fucking cunt is trying to fucking find my place and broadcast it. Okay? And broadcast where my fucking place was. Who needs the restraining order? Huh? Huh? Look at this. Oh, my own. Yeah, real good look. Friends were born in that building, and then this is where this person apparently lives. This is where this person apparently lives, is what she says in her video. Okay? And this is where this person lives. Now, who do you think was the person that tried to, who gave that wrong address? Maybe a guy with a last name that rhymes with Little Peen? Put a one in the chat if that shocks you, that that happened to me. So now these fucking pieces of shit in other communities and people that I've helped and people that I was intimate with, fucking want to push me over the fucking edge when they know I have fucking a TBI and I told them that I need some fucking time to just not be pushed because I'm having some problems and they pushed me to the fucking snapping point and I was awake for four days. Yeah, remember that? That was real nice. Real nice of people. Fucking pieces of fucking garbage. Every single fucking one of them.
and I'm the bad guy. And I'm the bad guy. It's called doxing. And she literally had a video of my fucking old fucking address. Like my, where I used to live. Like, are these people fucking crazy? What do you think is going to happen if they come to my fucking door again? Huh? You think I'm going to be there and I'm going to sit there with a fucking cappuccino? With, for them? Oh, come in. Come in here, dear boy. Have a cigar. The end game is just to get me to stop talking about them. Thank you, Omar. I mean, you know, it's it's funny and everything, the whole villain shit or whatever, but, you know, it's... <sighs> just not the case. Just not the case, you know? <laughs> Daughter of Sam. And with a douchebag like this fucking, what's the name, the Ian kid? Holy shit, man. Like, what a psychopath. Alonzo, what a psychopath. Like, they have so little, like, I own them. They're mine. They're mine. You understand? You know why? Because all they do is follow me and want to know where my penis has been. You want to sniff it, boys? You want to sniff the tip? Mm? Fucking disgusting. It's like having, it's really like having gay stalkers, okay? That's what it's like. I feel like I have gay stalkers. These are men stalking me looking into my personal life, trying to find dirty little secrets. I, there are reports that he was, you know, and that he was arrested for the for said uh, firearm. So I don't have confirmation of that yet. But I'll find out. I'll find out if he's actually arrested. That's why I said allegedly, reportedly, I did not say that it was true. Oh, you read the part about me having an embolism. It's actually a hematoma. which the people that were supposed to care about me, I told about, and I said that my brain just doesn't handle stress well. It goes sideways. And I told them. And they knew. Oh, I don't have an embolism. I have a hematoma. Tommy said he had a hema uh, embolism. Okay. Do you see this fucking scar on my fucking head? <laughs> That's from my accident. Last January, I broke my neck, through the vertebrae, 
bone marrow edema, arthritis in my spine. You know, like I ain't Jace, I ain't Tony Bourne anymore. But from that accident, I'm lucky that I spent my life being very physical and and playing a lot of sports and stuff because my body was strong and I think it would have been a lot worse. Yeah, I don't care. Daughter of Sam, I really don't care. Let people say what they want. I can't, I can't stop people from saying things. Hold on.
Hey, what's up, Nora? I try not to. Thank you. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> it is not good for my head. A lot of things aren't. You're not good for my head, but you're still welcome here. Here's your music. <laughs> Have a sense of humor for fuck's sake. Yeah, but you've just been too hostile towards me. You know? It's just too much maliciousness. Too much maliciousness. Yeah, that's just not... That's not good for me. You know. Appreciate it, though. No. No, I don't. I don't trust. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't I'm sorry. I don't trust her. You know. I don't trust. Her. All I'm saying is, is that. Okay. Well, am I wrong that you made the video after the what I just called you a couple names or something? I don't know. But then you like mocked my my drug problems and this and that and there was really no reason to make that video it was just a hostile you know video you know i'm not afraid i don't really need the aggravation you're not here to do anything good nora you're not you know that's really not your thing you're not nice i mean don't pretend to be nice not to me anyway and all i've ever done is call you some fucking names big fucking deal and you're fucking you, you were one of the people behind fucking terrorizing me. And it's not okay. Okay? Your name was on the fucking court papers. They were vexatious. Why would I want to talk with someone who's on a fucking court fucking document against me? I can't do. Hmm. I haven't done anything yet. Nora. All I've done is talk from sitting here in this fucking chair. That's all I've done. Okay. I know I know that you want to pretend you don't understand what it is to make a, an attack video and that you don't think you made one because you believe it. But, you know, perhaps, perhaps this could be a, a step towards us talking. Perhaps. They're not just insanely altered images. They're not even you. Yes, well. I mean, they weren't just based on the videos you made, though. Bro. You know. Okay, so let me ask you a question, Nora. Yes or no? Have you been watching DOA? You like DOA? You like what DOA? I, I think DOA's got his moments. I'm not, I'm, you know, I bag on him a little bit because he ain't that smart. So, what do you think of DOA? Hmm? Because DOA gets up there and he goes, content, 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 whore. It's just content. I think it's funny. Okay. I think it's funny. And I don't like being told what to do. I don't like being pushed around. I don't like people from a community coming at me and accusing me of a bunch of shit where they don't have any context. Are you streaming this on kick? I don't use TikTok.
I was going to say at least stream snipe me if you're going to stream, you're going to stream it. All right, Christina, everybody calm down. Calm down towards Nora. Nora just, you know, focus. Focus. Don't don't get sidetracked. Stay with me. Stay with me, Nora. I can get you through this. Nora, you're not one to talk about polite viewers. Okay? You're not one to talk about polite viewers, my dear. Really. Come on. You have the most spurgy, vicious fucking... You will never see anybody from my people going to, uh, you know, go in there. Well, I don't know, Nora. Who is it? <laughs> who is the mole? I don't dis I don't listen, I don't hate Nora at all. I don't. I have no hatred or anything. You know, it's like really just a lot of it is just like just fucking with people. And there are a couple people that, you know, you're just gonna have to be able to take it, you know. That couple people that are angry and not happy with you. It just is what it is. Get don't, you know, it's not it's just they'll they'll just say what they say, you know. You took 40 years to come out of the closet. That is funny. And I mean, if people are going to make comments about my personal shit, I mean, uh, of course I'm going to say some stupid stuff. Come on. We're fine. But I'm also not going to stop my audience from saying what they want and what they want to say to you. Because I think a couple people were probably maybe not disappointed because of me. I don't know. Maybe they saw something else. I'm not, uh, you know, you just have to be able to take it. I take it. Do I ban people? Yes. But I do address what they say. You know? I do address what they say. But, you know, I can't be stressed out, man. You know? My brain goes, uh, you know, it, 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 it weeble wobbles. It's not a weeble wobble because it do fall down. Excuse me. I smoke the weed for the pain in my spine because I don't want to take pills. Right? So, some people call it California sober. I don't drink. I don't take any hard drugs. But the only reason I smoke is because sometimes it, it's hard to get the words out because of me spine. So, don't worry about it. I know it's not helping. Check me out. Check me out quicker. You know, I mean, I'm just waiting till I go. I mean, it's, I'm not, I'm not going to try and do anything outrageous to accelerate it. But you know, not. I just have a couple projects going that uh, hopefully come through soon and uh, get my shit together and move on. I've had a bit of a dip over the past few months, and um, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. But I do, I do not want to take pills. I'm very scared of pills and pharmaceuticals. I've always been scared of pharmaceuticals because I had a doctor one time. I'll tell you a little story about my psych uh, drug story. Um, <clears throat> so there was this psychiatrist. Man, he was in downtown LA. And what was that part of town? Anyway, Lafayette, something. There's a little part of, of downtown. So I go to this psychiatrist's office and I go in there. And this guy has got a firearm next to him in his chair when he's psych psychiatring me, okay? So he's psychiatring me, and seriously, the uh, the prescriptions, he gave me like five things at once. You know what I mean? He gave me like five things. And, oh my God, my mother freaked out. Nobody wanted this thing, you know? Nobody wants his that. So I went on these prescriptions. And then also when I was a kid, there was this stuff called Darvacet. 
And when you get dental work, that's what they gave you for pain. It always made me feel really nauseous. Ironic that I was addicted to opiates for a while, but I haven't touched those since 1998. <laughs> so, but yeah, I, I'm scared of pills, so I prefer the cannabis. And I do edibles too, but there's just something about a bong that goes to the head. Oh, you eat it, huh? I like edible forms. <laughs> That's a great question. It's <laughs> a fantastic question. Yeah, I mean, they're out at the warehouse. They're getting they're they're currently being dipped. I mean, I I, I took a. Uh, Look, the time that I've taken pills were like long international flights where you have that one Zanny bar. <laughs> like, I'll just take one little snack of it and then you're out for like an 11 hour flight. Shit. That was me. Nora did not say anything out of line or anything like that. And obviously I unbanned her. You know, it doesn't matter who comes in here. I can handle it and it's fine. At least it's a discussion and not sitting there making fucking, you know, whatever. Hold on. Let me put this up here. I made grotesque videos about who? What, who did I make grotesque videos about? Tell me. Grotesque about who? We went over here for weeks until I responded. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me get Nora's up here. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's that. Well, that wasn't even the insulting part. Oh, Marilyn. Well, Marilyn uh, came into my chat. First of all, Marilyn came into my chat and told people to leave my chat. That's not cool. Okay. I would never do that. Don't listen. Leave the chat. That's not cool, Nora. And, you know, it's like, how is it grotesque? How is it grotesque when I'm making fun of somebody? That's very dramatic. You know? Come on, you don't fucking make jokes about people. You don't talk shit. Come on. Look, it's just words, man. And if you're going to come into my fucking ch I'm cursing not at you, just in general. Not cursing at you, Nora. I just curse. If people come into my chat and tell people to leave, A, fuck all that. You are on my fucking list. Okay, so she did it herself. She didn't have to come in this fucking chat and tell people to leave. So I wouldn't say grotesque, you know, uh, funny adult humor. Yes. Grotesque. No, grotesque would be if I showed some kind of, you know, you can't show penetration on YouTube. But now there's AI. And please, honey, all of the your friends, your Liz Gales, your fucking all these people that made the TikTok videos about me and post my fucking private shit. I've never done anything like that to you. The video that I made was mild compared to what your community has done to me. And don't act like that's not true. So if that's grotesque to you, that's fine. But, you know, then don't come into my chat and be an asshole. You know, I don't I didn't do that to her chat. I didn't do that to her chat. I never went into any of your chats and got hostile. None of you. Not one. Not one. But when my name is mentioned in some other chats, they shut the fucking stream down. Which is hilarious. So let's see. Yeah, I made a grotesque video. So dox him. Dox him. And doxing has to do with the malicious posting against someone's consent. Okay, so it was doxing. 
identifiable, identifiable information. Doesn't matter if it, where it was before. Okay. Look up the legal definition of what doxing is and stop telling me that I haven't been doxed. Come on. Oh, whoa. Nora, that was you that walked on that list? What? And never mind. I, I was surprised. Uh, that's surprising to me. Anyway. Walking over a list of dead people with your feet is more disrespectful than the video that I made, in my opinion. So how about that? I mean, if we want to just go, how did I dox you? You put you, you posted your shit on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a social media site. Your shit was posted there. It's public. You know, it's public. You are a you are a public figure who, who was representing a public charity. You are up to a you have a different level of scrutiny than I do. So I didn't dox you. It was there in print. I showed it. It was online. No secret there. Oh no, it was a clapback. There was nothing malicious about it. You have, yes, you have. You you were one of the people all about the aftermath and all that shit. So stop. Yeah, you really, you really are, you really are full of yourself. You know, I mean, you are not anything special. I don't know why you act like you're so superior to everybody. You're not. <laughs> it's just not okay. walking over it right when I saw the list I got angry when I saw her walking over it well wow okay then there's opinion that Nora was not being disrespectful okay it's fine oh Bo Beats no it was posted in a public social media site by her okay by her that's not doxing. She made that LinkedIn. I didn't make a fucking channel for people to fucking post my shit, you stupid motherfuckers. So there's the difference, okay? Bo Beats. So there is a fucking difference. I didn't sit there and post documents or r rumor i didn't make a whole fucking site or other channels those have nothing to do with me those are doxing when you post your own fucking shit okay and you find it like whatever's on my instagram or on my youtube or on my other shit they've used this free reign free game free fair game because that's what they do that's how you're trained the linkedin is a public social media site that you created and posted your job's on, okay? I didn't post, see, there's a difference. There's a difference. And you obviously don't see the difference, but that's okay. And I, I, you know, the list thing, whatever. Forget the list thing. If you guys want to do the list thing, whatever. Your father is relevant because you were raised in an OSA family and you accused me of being OSA and you accused me of being paid by some talent agency or some fucking PR fucking firm or and then and then you told me that I harassed uh Vanessa and threatened her to a point where you put your fucking name on that restraining order document okay your name is on it and uh so you tried to file a vexatious and perjurious thing where people stalked me came to my door in a group all right well my old door you know obviously it's my old door but t to me you're still violating me even though it was the wrong address that's still a violation so whatever no Nora doesn't have anything better to do because i'm her focus rather than going out there and talking about scientology she's worried about what i'm saying and who the mole is so that's all she cares about it's fine guardian's office it became you know semantics okay okay well semantics
very semantic -y. They're the same purpose. You know, and I called you, I called you names. So then people want to fucking, you know, and then you and Ian start going on Twitter, trying to have my YouTube channel taken down. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Bo beats. I, I, you know, I don't give a shit what you say, to be honest. They're not false and libelous. Okay. They're not false and libelous. There's nothing liable to it. You don't have anything, okay? You don't have anything. So this is not like you're losing something. You're not losing anything. No, they shouldn't. You know, yours should be demonetized for, for your mocking me then. Yours should be demonetized for mocking me, okay? No, they're not. It's free speech. I've been doing this long enough to know the rules. Why do you think my channel's still here? Not even a strike on my channel. Okay? Not even a strike on my channel. Not even a warning strike on my channel. Okay? Now, some of my videos, by the way, by the way, Nora, a lot of your videos are already demonetized. They have the yellow symbol on them. So they are, a lot of them are demonetized. So, they're not all monetized. I hope you don't think that. Not every one of them are monetized. A lot of them are demonetized. So, some of them, when I push the envelope, which means basically this. If I say the C word too many times, you know what I mean? No, they are. They are demonetized. They are demonetized. The yellow, the yellow thing is, is demonetized. Okay, when they limit it, if you're not green, green means go. Everything else means no. Come on, you know better. Huh? What back end? Am I in your back end? No. No, dear. Stop it. I don't know how to hack anything. But like I said, the yellow um, thing it may as well be demonetized because even with the yellow one, they don't push it, you know? Yes, yours are probably green. Some of my videos about you are also green, but some of them are yellow. So don't think that they're not being demonetized because if you curse too much, they take it down a peg. So don't worry about it. They are demonetized. Hacked your channel. Come on. Are you serious? Are you serious? Have I hacked your channel? Wow. Holy shit. I don't think anybody's hacking anything here. <laughs> there's, no, there's no like, uh, you know, nobody's being uh, no hackalicious. I don't know how to hack anything. No, no, no. I'm saying my videos about you are not monetized. Oh, I see what you're saying. You think I'm looking at your back end because I'm talking about your channel. It's all about you, Nora. Listen, okay? I am talking about my back end. I'm saying, you just made a statement earlier, okay? Saying, hold on, let me go back here. Hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back. Ah, here we go. My YouTube should be demonetized for the videos I made about you. Well, like a lot of my videos about you are demonetized. But my YouTube channel isn't going to be demonetized because I know the limits. So that's not going to happen. Yeah, I'm not in your, I'm not, I'm not in there. I'm saying that a lot of mine about you when I say the C words and also about a lot of the other SPT videos. Please don't think that all of them are monetized. No. No. And I know the ones that are going to be demonetized. When I start to say the C word too many, th those are the ones that got demonetized. Also, if you say the F word, you know, I think that might be a demonetization word, but not always. Not always. 
Depends on the context. Well, that is the confusion, but you kind of automatically you know, thought the worst about me. Yes, I put them behind the wall for human approval. That is correct. I put them behind for human approval, and then I release them again. A lot of them are released. Some of them are behind the paywall. So the people who are the paying members get, so I have over 500 videos. I mean, there's plenty out there. But yes, I put them, I put them back there. Here, I'll put this up again. You are correct, but I put them up there for a reason. The reason is, is because I knew a bunch of your people would try and report them. So what I did was I set a precedent with YouTube, put them behind the paywall, waited for the human review to say, hey, this one's got a yellow or a green. That's all. And then I brought it back out. And I said, this could possibly be the beginning of that. But for right now, I'm still on uh, a no. Uh, Tony Solo doesn't revolve around you, Nora. He covers other things that are going on. Yeah, I, I mean, this was not my intention ever for my channel to even talk about. I just wanted to go on to the show with Aaron, talk about my experience and kind of move on, you know. But I did like Aaron when I first started watching him. I, I, I reached out because I was a fan. I was a total fan. That's all. Yeah, well, when I feel like I could trust you a little bit, you know, just a little bit, maybe I'll step in that direction. I have, uh, I, I don't, uh, you know. Okay, but you do get super chats. I mean, you're, I mean, your channel's monetized. You don't get super chats or PayPal's or anything when you're on the thing. I mean, you have other donation platforms. It's not like you haven't made money. I mean, but you did you just say you're not monetized? I, I don't know what that means. I don't know. I don't. But you have a community that will buy you phones and travel and all that stuff. So stop. You don't ask for money. You don't have to. You just have to say you're going somewhere, Nora. You don't have to ask. You just have to say. You're beyond asking. That's how you have your audience. Don't tell me that you don't. You just have to go, oh, you know, uh, I want the, this, that, or the other thing. You know? You got links. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's the same thing, Nora. I swear to God. Somebody please go check and make sure this is real, Nora. And just as I'm talking that it's not a fake. I'm not saying that you're fake, Nora. I just, I, I know that there are, just understand that there are trolls out there. Yeah, I answer every question too. You know, I mentioned the super chats uh, once, maybe twice in a long stream because YouTube really just wants you to just sort of use your community tabs, put up the, you know, just show the uh, show them that you care about being monetized. I guess I do. It was a big deal for me. I don't, I don't make any money on it, but it's not like the my my membership's a dollar ninety nine a month for my starter membership. Anything from that people can go for. Gifted memberships too help. Anybody want to show Nora what a gifted membership looks like? Somebody drop, somebody drop 20 gifted memberships and get Nora one. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, but I'm not. So anyway. Oh yeah, I made a steak. Man, did I love doing the cooking thing online. It's been a long time thing for me. Sergeant Mitch in the house. There we go. Hey, Sergeant. Oh, wow. I got, gosh, I got to catch up. Oh, it's you? You think it's her? Yeah. By the way, it's by the way she's talking. You know. Oh, see that? There it goes. Jan Panda jumping in with five gifted memberships. Thank you very much. Look at who we got here. Oh, this is going to be a good catch. A good couple of them. We got Rad Tigers, Becky Boodle. Welcome, Rad Tigers. Welcome, everybody. Becky Boodle, using the alliteration. Sorry about that. Welcome. Crenshaw, appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right. 
And right here, we have L in the house. Oh, Pren coming in. Bo Beats, look at that. You got a membership. You're back. Relax, Bo. Take it so fucking seriously. Parasocial fucking creeps. Relax. Okay? We all have our own lives. And we all determine our own, you know, fates and shit, Bo. Stop trying to tune the uh you know the piano of the of the universe it's it's my piano and i'll cry if i want to all right just chill you know and whatever with my personal shit it's nobody's business man you know i know look at this this is a very good point here do something useful with your time and find out why so many sptv is a very high percentage of people escaping a cult that are in that group i don't know what that means that's that's interesting there we go. Hi, Stacy Ski. Welcome. Fearless. Well, hello. Got you membership. Good to see you. Mandy gets one. You get a membership. You get a membership. There you go. Yeah, I mean, we all do it a different way, Nora. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, you know, like that's what the YouTube is for. You earned it. Kind of, you know, you earned it. Is L Lara? Well, welcome, Lara. See, I make fun of Lara. I make fun of everybody, but I also make fun of myself. Okay. You take it too seriously. Yeah. Pull out the chocolate, the hot chocolate and the blankets. Thank you so much, Mandy, for the gifting memberships. Prenfen, everybody throwing down the gift of memberships. Thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate it. Relearn your truth. That took some time to work out. Appreciate you being here. Pete Jensen TV, appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining the fray. <laughs> Tune the piano of the universe. That was a good one. You know, everything is okay, Bo Beats. Everybody's got problems. We've all got personal problems. You know, we're all we're all on the struggle bus, baby girl. It's okay. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if people like hung out and like listened and just chilled for a minute, I'm I'm really just like joking. Who's Pete? Is Pete a, a guy? Pete Jensen, you're a guy. Who? Well, who is Pete Jensen? Why is Pete Jensen a guy? Is he a? Is he a? Is he got a thing? A channel? A, a stuff? Hi, Pete Jensen. Welcome. There's Pete Jensen. Oh, he runs a Discord? I don't have a Discord. I'd like to have a Discord. I just don't, I don't know how to use it. <laughs> I spent too much time trying to learn this shit. So, yeah. Welcome, Pete. He has a channel as well. Yeah, and by the way, look. Go subscribe to Nora. Go subscribe to Pete. You know, don't, uh, don't, don't be, uh... You know, follow what they say and uh, look at what they do. Watch their thing. Yelling and screaming people on the side don't support that nonsense. Christina is, we have, you know, you understand the Latinas. Okay. Don't throw the chonklas, Christina. Pete is Aaron's nem nemesis. You know. <sighs> well, you know what I got to say? I got to say for Nora. And I said this the other day in a video. Oh, here's something nice I said about Nora in my video the other day. I said, when you were up there speaking and everybody was up there talking, that that must have been some moment for you guys to have to be able to be outside of that building and to speak 
at the people in that building who were fucking obviously listening to every word you're saying. And yeah, me too, Nora. I'm just thankful that people tune in and watch. So I said, wow. I, I got, I, I honestly, I thought that was quite a moment. I thought when the thing was rolled out with the names, I thought that was very impactful. I thought that, uh, oh, Fred's here again. Everybody's coming. Thank you so much for joining me in the chat, guys. Everybody decided to come over. But I said, wow, what a moment for these guys to be able to come together from different cities. And it would have been nice to see Aaron there. It would have been nice to see Aaron there. Um, I know maybe he couldn't have made it. I think it was a very powerful moment, totally recognizing that. And uh, it was touching. It was moving. It was the most impactful thing that I have seen in the entire thing of protest. So when Nora rolled up, that's when the protest got real, okay? Because since then, they were... That was the that was the strongest fucking punch I've seen is for you all to be out there physically. Holy shit, man, showing up against those fucking pieces of shit. Right? And some of those people, can you imagine? There were probably people in there that so badly wanted to be where you were standing. You know. Call it like I see it. Everybody, everybody who got on the bullhorn was very passionate. See, everybody was very excited. Yeah, Fred's fine. And everybody who was there, who spoke, earned it. I said that before. You're not gonna you you can't well, just watch the mean stuff. Fuck. I don't remember what video it was. It was pretty recent. I think Liz is here because she is looking out for her friend Nora. Just fine. Nice. But that was a powerful moment. And in that moment, thinking about that moment now, it really does wash down some of the... You know. It was the apex moment of the whole thing. Liz is a ex-Scientologist. But you guys did it. You pulled it off. Y'all got together. That was the most surprising part to me was that you all actually were in one place. And well, not all of you, but most of you were in one place at one time actually doing the damn thing and being impactful. And by the way, for the people that are watching that don't know where the Celebrity Center is, that's a tricky little part of street right there. And there ain't nobody going to where And right across the street is La Poubelle. And this is a this is like an area. It's such a tricky part of traffic. When the light is going and it's busy, yeah, people stop, but people go by there very quickly. You know, people fly by that spot, you know, but it is a very tricky part. It's actually quite a dangerous corner to be standing on and do that thing, but they were in front of the, you know, placard or whatever. <laughs> but, you know.
Glenda, just hang out. You'll get a gifted membership eventually, I promise you. Don't even trip. Most of the good stuff is out here. I got some great stuff back there. It's just different things. You know what I mean? It's 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 neither hither nor thither for you to be a member or not. We appreciate it if you are. If you're not, I'll tell you. Where's Lara? Is she here? Is Fred Lores Lara? Oh, L.A. F's me? L.A. F's me? Hi. She's wondering why she's here, too. I've made fun of Lara, too. But, you know, don't take it so seriously. Thank you, Mousy, for being a member for five months. Appreciate that. I know. I mean, I got to be honest, guys. And I know my audience and my people aren't going to be mad if I make a part two out of this. I got to tell you. Because Nora's just asked too many times. You know what I mean? It's like, it's ruining it. It's, it's, it's trying to take over the show. I know that my, my, my people won't be mad at all if I make a part two out of this. They'll probably think it's hilarious. I know I will. 